What is topology? Network topology is the manner in which the connections and networking devices of a network are arranged to coordinate with each other in order to share computer resources. There are mainly five types of networking topologies. Let us discuss those one by one. What is mesh topology? Let us discuss about mesh topology. Each and every device in mesh topology is connected to one and another over the network through a dedicated fast point-to-point -point connection. When we use the word dedicated, that means the connection only carries data for those two connected devices only. Let us talk about the benefits of mesh topology. In case of any failure or interruption of connection, it can be easily identified the exact cause of fault for that interruption and that fault will not stop the communication of whole network. So the interruption will only limit to the faulty area of the network. Assume the cable which is connected between the PC1 and PC2 has faulted. Then only those two computers will not able to send data between each other. But other nodes will be actively connected to the network and can communicate with all other nodes. Mesh topology is quite secure as all the connecting ports are dedicated with point-to-point -point connections. Therefore, unauthorized access of traffic are restricted over this type of networks. Now, let us talk about the limitations of mesh topology. Let us assume that we have five computers in the network. Then each computer must be connected with four other computers of that same network. Therefore, each of the computers in that network needs to have four connection ports for connecting those computers of that particular network. So, in the mesh topology, it is quite difficult to build a large setup. It is not possible in the mesh topology to add a new device with the existing setup. To do that, all other devices in that network need to be connected with the cable as well as the connection ports. What is star topology? Let us discuss about star topology. If we consider the design of star topology, all networking devices are connected to a central device called hub or switch to establish a particular networking setup. Unlike the earlier explained about mesh topology, star topology does not allow direct point-to-point -point connection between devices. All devices must have to communicate through the central hub or switch. If one device wants to send data to other device, then it has to first send the data to the central hub and then the central hub transmit that data to the designated device. Let us discuss about its benefit. As unlike the mesh topology, we do not require to establish point-to-point -point connection. That is why only one cable is required to connect one device to the network. In this way, we can eliminate the cost of additional cables and I.O. interface unlike the mesh topology where N-1 numbers of cable and I.O. ports are required building a network. We can easily add new device to the existing network without disturbing the setup of other devices connected to that network. Now, let us discuss about its limitations. If 
one cable get loose then that device will not able to communicate with other devices across the network and if the central hub fails then all networking devices which are connected to it will stop communicating across the whole network therefore the cost of establishing star topology is cheaper compared to mesh topology and it is easy to detect fault in the network like the mesh topology itself but it is fully dependent on the central hub what is bus topology let us discuss about bus topology there is a main cable in bus topology and all the networking devices are connected to the main cable through drop line and a device called tap that connects the drop line over the main backbone cable therefore all data is transmitted from sender end to the receiver end over that main cable let us discuss about its benefits it is quite easy to install just those drop line cables are needed to be connected with backbone cable and much less cables are required in compared to mesh topology so this type of network are less expensive now let us discuss about its limitations it is quite difficult to detect the specific area of fault if arise in the network because there are many taps which connect the drop line over the backbone cable this networks are not scalable as there is a limit in the number of nodes to be connected with single backbone cable so it is difficult to extend the existing network with more networking devices what is ring topology if you see in ring topology each computer is connected with other two computers on either side of it each computer has two dedicated point to point connections with other two computers on either side of it all the computers are connected in this network looks like a ring that is why it is known as ring topology in this network when a computer wants to send data to another computer then the data moves only towards one direction all the computers in ring topology has a repeater if the received data is not intended for that particular computer then the repeater forwards this data towards next computer until the data reaches the intended computer let us discuss about its benefits it is easy to install as only two cables are required to be connected with a repeater in each computer ring topology is also easy to manage compared to mesh topology because to add or remove a computer from the existing topology only two links are required to be changed now let us discuss about its limitations in this network single link failure can hamper the entire network communication as the data will not travel forward due to failure of certain connection point as because the data in ring topology only moves in one direction in this topology it is quite common to face data traffic issue since all the data is circulating in single ring towards one direction what is hybrid topology L let us discuss about hybrid topology by the name hybrid it is to be understood that hybrid topology is the combination of two or more topology in a particular networking setup let us assume about a network where some computers are connected in a central hub to form a star topology and 
in same network another connection point has been extended to join the bus topology to make it a hybrid topology as a whole let us discuss about its benefit in a particular network it can be used combination of topologies as per the requirement of different section of organization therefore it opens up more opportunities for the intended users if scalability is the concern for a group of users then the star topology can be used and if secure dedicated connection is required for another group of users in that same organization then mesh topology can be used with the combination of star topology in other part of the organization therefore it is scalable as we can further connect another network setup with the existing network having different topology now let us discuss about the limitations installation of a hybrid topology is never going to be easy task and in hybrid topology fault detection is very difficult because of being a combination of different topologies designing of this topology is quite complex so maintenance of this networking setup is highly expensive 